So I'm just gonna do my makeup really quick because ugh, I feel like I look like shit and when I work out I like to look cute and a lot of people are like why do you wear makeup to the gym and it's because bitch I feel like it <laughs> because I can if I look cute then I want to be at the gym because I feel good and I don't care if people stare at me because I'm like yeah I'm bitch I know I look good but when I look like shit, I'm like, why is, why are people looking at me? Like, please don't look at me. Let me go home. But yeah, I'm going to do my makeup really quick because um, I'm going to go train with my friend Lalo, who is a trainer at my job. Um, we've been wanting to train and he's been like wanting to train me for ever. And the only time that our schedules align are on Saturdays and usually something comes up. So like we haven't done it. So finally making it happen. <laughs> Not excited, not gonna lie, but like I need to stop bullshitting. So here we go. The camera makes it look like my foundation is so freaking white, but it's really not. And also like I'm not as white as this makes it look. I literally look like James Charles in that one picture. I'm not that bad, I promise. Um, it'll look better once I'm like fully, my face is fully on. Anyways, yeah, I've been trying to get back into the gym and it's been so hard um since i moved like it's just been hard to get back into the gym and so that's why lalo's like bitch let's get you back into the gym i really want to become a personal trainer too so that like i can get so i can know what the fuck i'm doing but um with me quitting my job and moving and my whole daca situation and stuff i just didn't want to have to spend extra money on stuff if I knew I wouldn't be able to use it or work. Actually, for those of you who don't know, I finally got my DACA. Thank freaking God. It took five months, but I finally got it. Like when I saw the notice, I was just like in tears. I was crying. Like it felt like such a big weight lifted off my shoulder. Like, thank God. And it just feels like things are finally like falling back into place. Like I just got a new job too. Um, I decided to just steer away from social services jobs because first of all they don't pay enough but second of all they're really stressful so i'm actually just a server i mean not just a server i'm a server now at a mexican restaurant i've been training yesterday was my first day and honestly like oh it was a little scary but you know what we're gonna make it through and i gotta step out of my comfort zone if i want to grow so this is all just part of growth and uh, being uncomfortable so yeah a uh, new job and uh you know new workout routine basically um but yeah let me do my eyebrows really quick it's sad because um i have so many of my friends like trying to make uh plans with me to go out or just to do stuff to grab dinner or whatever um but hot girl summer is really looking like a uh, working girl summer i literally work every day and usually till midnight so like mm there go my plans but again like i can't be mad at it because i can't be mad when universe gives me what i've been asking for if i gotta work then i gotta work you know i also just like i'm trying to figure out what is me being lazy and what is me being depressed because oh it's been hard like half the time i just want to sleep <laughs> and uh that's why i'm like i don't know like am i tired am i depressed am i I don't know lazy like I don't know what it is but um, I've been trying uh, to get back into going to the gym um, into eating into just being more productive I guess and it's just such a hard balance like I don't know I try to be kind to myself and patient with myself on days when I need it so like listening to my body and resting when I need it but then I'm like at what point am I being complacent and just letting myself fall deeper into depression? Like, when, at what point do I need to just get myself out of bed and do whatever the fuck I want to do? Like, <sighs> again, like I said, this is not the best makeup I've ever done in my life. It literally, I'm just doing it super quick so I have something. 
on my face because I don't look all I don't want to look all ugly but not that I'm ugly without makeup because I know people are gonna be like oh you're so insecure like you need makeup to feel good about yourself blah 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 no no but I mean everyone knows like when you have makeup on like you feel like that bitch you know so yeah but I just know especially men in my comments are always so fucking annoying I'm debating whether um I want to quit my job at the gym I'm getting in my way of my other job so i could use that time to work at a restaurant and make more decent money but i really i i love i love my co-workers and like i get a free gym membership and i get discounts on personal training blah 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 but i'm thinking of probably quitting my job at the gym and then um working on getting my personal training certification and then maybe just coming back as a personal trainer i was gonna say they love me i don't know if they love me but i know they don't hate me and i mean they don't really have a spanish-speaking woman trainer like lalo speaks spanish but he's a dude and sometimes people prefer a woman and also like i don't know i think it'd be cool i might just do that um instead i really just need to see see um what my schedule and my money is looking like but um i don't know uh, i feel like universe is kind of pushing me into a lot of changes and uh, you know it can be scary sometimes but necessary so be like that i'm just like rambling on like y'all give a fuck about my life but honestly i feel like if you guys watch my videos you probably give a fuck a little bit so it's fine one of the questions I get asked the most is how I work out with my long nails, so y'all are about to see. It's literally the same as anyone else. Okay, and then I'll just set it. And that's it. Okay. Cute little, little quick, quick makeup. Oh shit, I gotta go. Okay, I'm just gonna change and then um, head to the gym. I'm already halfway there. A little fit check. My cute little outfit. It's from Target. Shout out Target. They have some really cute workout stuff, but I usually am not the type to wear like matching outfits because like I feel like that's doing the most. But this one's cute, so it's fine. I also hate working out <laughs> at the gym I work at because all the members and stuff look at me like i'm some weird creature and they've never seen anyone work out in their life <laughs> they show up your legs yeah so they know i'm legit oh my god all right <laughs> <laughs> okay you want to introduce yourself who are you uh my name is eduardo chavira i'm personal trainer here at muscle fitness so i'm going to demonstrate you guys how to squat well first of all with my friend Brittany, you can do all the exercises for me while I explain. He's not letting me complain today, so... Alright, so there's this thing I call SSI, which is set up, stabilize, initiate. Okay, I like to do that every exercise. Okay, so today I'm going to demonstrate with the air squat. Okay, first of all, how do we air squat? Our feet will be slightly wider than shoulder width feet pointing out, chest out, back straight, okay? What I like to do, I like to start with a slight bend on my on my knees, okay? So this is what I call right here the setup, okay? My feet are at the same height, my knees are slightly bent, it's like a little spring, see that? So right here, I feel like my glutes are stabilized and my paws are stabilized. Now, so this, there's the setup, stabilize, initiate, that's your Okay. Let's start, so you're gonna do 10 control reps. Remember your feet, rotate it. There you go. Okay. Yep. So, before you even squat down, I want you to keep that slight bend on your knees. All right, feel those glutes. All right, now go down slow. One, two. Do not tuck in, stop right there. There you go. Alright, so before you 
before I even go into like a barbell squat, do five feet movements that are like pre-activations of the muscles we are gonna incorporate in that barbell squat. These are called hip bridges. So we're gonna lie on the ground. We're gonna place our feet fully on the ground. Lie down, hands on the ground, push our hips up towards the ceiling, feeling each rep. Okay? One, two, okay? Really activate those glutes. Now, Brittany's trying to do it. Okay, <laughs> here I'm gonna demonstrate how to barbell squat. So right here, essentially we need a barbell, right? Again, I'm gonna explain the SSI setup, stabilize, initiate. Okay, now that we have, we did the primary movements, we go right into the barbell squat. So what I like to do, I like to place my hands on the bar, either shoulder width, slightly wider. This is my personal pre preference, okay? My thumb, I use it to measure it. That way, both hands are at the same height and I get right in the middle of the bar. I like to place, I like to place the bar. Right in between the mid trap and my rear delt, okay? Also, I like to push my elbow back to keep it stable back, right? And now, now that the upper torso is good, okay, I find my squat stance, which is slightly wider in shoulder width, feet pointing out, okay. So right knee, right here, I'm setting up. My feet are at the same height, All right? Knees slightly bent, okay. Glutes stabilize. Now, before I go down, my breath work. I like to breathe in. As I go down, I hold it. I let go when I. Yeah. Breathe in. Okay. That breathing technique, technique is breaking your core. Easy. So what I do not want to do when I barbell squat, I do not want to tuck in. Let's say there's less glute activation. Okay. So I stop right before that butt wing. That is called a butt wing when you are in your butt. And go down. Right there, I stop. Go up. Okay. I have to push from my heel and my and the ball of my foot. Okay. So. so Brittany here is gonna demonstrate us the barbell squat. So before you start, Brittany, place that bar back on the bar on the rack. Okay, I want you to start over here. Alright. Let's talk about the setup. So, first off, place your hands on the bar. Make sure they are evenly placed. All right, now wrap your hand around the bar. Get under the bar. Place it right, un right in between your rear delt and your mid back. Upper trap, I mean, I fucked up. All right, you can re unrack it, okay? Just take one step back. All right, slight bent on your knees. There you go. Okay. Make sure your, your glutes are stabilized. Okay, you feel your glutes. Okay. So now, before you squat, breathe in. And now squat. All right. Got it? Wow. Rotate a little bit more. Alright, let's say you got tight ankles. The way to release them is by doing this exercise right here. It's called ankle shift against the wall. So we are going into a half new position just like this. Our hand, our um, length away from the, the wall is around like hand width. <laughs> like, around right there. Okay. okay. Now we're just gonna lean forward until our knee touches that wall. Okay. Your butt looks good. <laughs> I want to be called a football. The squat, the 
squat father. The squat father? Oh, <laughs> uh, shit. This is one of those good, um, best ways to loosen up the ankle. Okay, with this exercise right here. Let's say, for example, you also have tight hips. Yeah, tight hips. Uh, I need that. A good way to release the hips is doing 90-90s. Our left leg bent at a 90 degree angle. Our right leg also bent at a 90 degree angle. Okay, so what we're gonna do, we're just gonna roll over. These right here, which your wipers. Right here, just holding it, and then going behind, just like this. It's just a 90-90, but you'll feel a stretch right here in this uh, hip joint right here. Do you recommend doing this before a workout? Yes, right? I do. I recommend it 100%. If you have tight hips, um, this is mobility. It's not even stretching, so this will definitely loosen that hip area. So what I like to do, I like to hold it for like 30 seconds, and then I lean forward to like the pigeon pose. Hold it as well. This one I don't hold it for too long because it's a uh, more like a static stretch. I don't want to inhibit that um, that glute area. Okay, it's just to loosen up that hip. Okay. Now switch sides. Same thing. Hold it right there. Okay. Trying to get Lalo comfortable in front of recording, so let me know how y'all think he did. And if you want to see more videos with me and Lalo. Yeah, but yeah, he's know. teaching me. He's teaching me how to lift and shit. Cause the uh, squat father. And yeah, squat father, squat daddy. Squat daddy. And I'm poppy. Yeah, you can be the squat daddy and I'm poppy. Works out. Squat father and daddy, whatever. I don't care. But yeah, anyways, yeah, he's teaching me how to gym because. How to gym? How, how to, to lift? Gym. How to Let's gym. go. Anyways, yeah, that was it. He was just teaching me how to squat today. That was cool. I'm telling now, you. I'm time, it's time to go to bed. All right, y'all, so I just got home. As you can see, I didn't get to film the full, like a full workout because when you record, like it takes more time, but also I have to get to work soon. So um, we just filmed um, Lalo kind of training me on how to do barbell squats, which I know it's like super basic, but like I mentioned in the video, I get scared to do barbell squats on my own because I have scoliosis and so I don't want my form to be messed up and then for me to like accidentally mess up my back because I can't afford to do that to myself. So it was just helpful to have him watching me so that in case I did something wrong he could like correct it and I didn't fuck myself up basically. I'm also just trying to get him used to being in front of the camera so that he can record his own content for like his Instagram and stuff. He's such a good trainer and I love I love him. Like he's so cool. Um so I'm hoping to record more videos with him and he kind of knows my personality. <laughs> so he kind of knows my personality. He knows that I like to complain and like when I got there this morning, he was like, "No. Like no complaining. I'm serious." I was like, oh, "All right then." So yeah, I'm hoping to train with him more so that I can get some more motivation at the gym. Let me know if you guys want to see more videos of him training me basically. But yeah, I just stopped at Chick-fil-A and got myself some food because I got to get to work soon. I also went to Target and I got myself a planner and it's like a hourly planner. So it's like has little I don't know if you can see, but it has, oh yeah, it has like little, like, uh, it's by the hour, which I really like these just so I can plan out my day. My schedule completely changed now, and I'm mostly working evening, so I want to be able to incorporate going to the gym in the mornings, meal prepping, going grocery shopping, whatever else, um, and then with two jobs, and since my schedule changes every week, um, it'll just kind of help me kind of keep track of my life. I'm just the type of person that when I write it down, it's more helpful for me, um, cause then I at least even just remember it. So yeah, and I really like that it has like today's top three to do notes. Um, and then it has a little slot for gratitude too, which is something I try to do every day is just express some type of gratitude. And then it has little um, quotes for the day. So I am hoping that this helps me get my life in order. I got some nice colorful little pens to help with my calendar. And then I also got some index cards because I'm trying to memorize the menu at my new job. So hopefully this helps me 
memorize it quicker because I hate when people ask me something and I don't know the answer to it. So I'm gonna hopefully get these done tomorrow after work and memorize the menu soon so that I can be on top of my game. I also talked to my manager at my job at the gym and she said she's willing to work with my schedule at the restaurant so that I don't have to quit, which I'm really excited because I don't want to quit the gym like I love my co-workers and I love the atmosphere so yeah I'm really excited that I get to keep both jobs but I'm about to eat really quick and then just get ready for work because that's my life let me know if you guys like videos like this and just like to see what I do in a day I'm hoping to get back into my healthy shape going to yoga going to the gym working doing whatever else recording so hopefully with this little calendar it helps me plan out my day so that I make time for the things I want to make time for, okay? Yeah. Let me know if you want to see more vlog style kind of videos and just see what I do in my day. It's nice to have something or someone to talk to because I literally spend every day by myself. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe so you don't miss any of the future videos that I post. And in the meantime, as always, you already know, make sure to be kind to yourself, okay? Thank you.